to another episode of Packaging Live, video series of 15 minutes with an expert. Our expert for today is the face of digital packaging in India, not only for HP, but for the industry. Let's welcome Apadurai, Country Manager, HP Indigo, and Inkjet Solutions for India and Sri Lanka. Hi, Appa. Welcome to the Packaging Live Experts Corner. Hello. Uh, thank you, Pratik. Uh, the pleasure is entirely mine to be a part of this wonderful opportunity that you've given me. Thank you again. So, Appa, digital is at your heart. How do you see the digital baby taking giant strides in the Indian market in today's scenario, which is what we call as the new normal? for me i i think uh, the new normal uh, is an amazing word to be used first of all and uh, i was uh, speaking to one of my colleagues and uh, we came out with this analogy right? what happened to digital payments after demonetization is what's going to happen to digital print in the new normal right after demonetization obviously which was done for good reasons digital payments have skyrocketed from you know 0.2 percent to probably close to 20 30 percent today right from a few hundred crores to probably over a lack of crore today right this is exactly what we believe is going to happen to digital printing but with a caveat that digital payment offered so much of convenience it was instant it was uh, really really fast which is, you know, which is at the core of uh, what digital payments are. Uh, that's the same advantage that digital printing is also going to give. But yes, there is a bit of an element with cost. And uh, assuming uh, that there is going to be a cost difference, digital payment, digital printing is going to go really, really in rapid strides in the new normal. This is our biggest belief. For me, uh, you know, what the new normal is also going to uh, do is, you know, people will buy what they definitely need. Whether it's a consumer buying products or a brand buying packaging material from a converter, they're going to buy what they just need. Because one, changes are very, very rapid. Uh, you don't know what tomorrow is and people don't want to, you know, really keep so much of stuff that they, they wouldn't need absolutely need today. That's going to happen for sure, right? Look, you know, I've seen the 2008, 2009 recession. Every time there is a recession or a market going down, economy going down, yeah, digital printing actually goes up because, because of the uncertainties in the world really makes people to, to uh, get into digital printing or digital packaging, right? We're very, very confident uh, that uh, we're going to grow multifold in the new normal. Wonderful, Appa. So we see a digital growth story there, and especially for the Indian market uh, and the industry today. So tell me, Durai, what's been the HP India's journey while establishing itself both as a global market leader and the leader in the Indian industry space, especially uh, with the digiting, digital printing space that you work in? Yeah. So India has been an amazing story. In fact, uh, I think, uh, India was one of the last big countries that uh, HP Indigo entered. We actually entered the uh, Indian, Indian market in 2004, 2005. Uh, and these last 15 years of journey has just been amazing. Uh, we've you know, steadily, steadily climbed up the ladder and we're probably among the top, uh, top, Ten countries for HP in the world when uh, in digital printing. Uh, mind you, this is with the given fact that India still has the lowest labor cost when it comes to the printing business. To do it, uh, to grow this way uh, in a low labor cost economy is a very, very challenging one, but you know, possibly also shows uh, the potential, the numerous potential that exists in the Indian market. For me, particularly, the last three to five years have been uh, amazing uh, from the packaging side of business. Uh, we probably growing at, uh, uh, at a triple digit, I would say. Right? We're also building a, a super ecosystem uh, around uh, the packaging business, which we're doing in terms of bringing in partners from, from the finishing side, bringing in media vendors, uh, 
and also working very very closely with the brand so we kind of trying to address the entire ecosystem which is uh, uh, which is probably helped us to grow at this pace uh, we have uh, uh, we have a very very good commercial printing business as we call it the sheet paper commercial business and we're also the uh, the biggest force in the photo printing arena uh, in the indian market so combination of three businesses we're extremely happy with the journey that we've had so far and what's ahead of us definitely the way we see the indian market certainly hold potentials for tremendous growth further and i'm sure hp is looking to expand its foothold further into the region so tell me the where is the next uh, digital print innovation ideation happening is it more at the brand levels that you're working with them right now is it uh, the converters or the printers who take the lead and what are the initiatives which hp india has been taking to kind of support both these uh, segments super so i think i am a believer that uh, innovation or ideation need is the mother of all innovation and all ideations of a, of anything right so for me here i would say the consumers need the millennial consumer need today is what's pushing uh, what is the cause what or what is the reason for those innovations and ideations to happen right? consumers are demanding uh, totally different things today that is pushing the brands the brands to think very differently from the way they used to think uh, obviously things have changed uh, in in terms of speed to market uh, we we hear from colgate pomel uh, from their research uh, where <clears throat> the you know product life cycles which was which used to be 4 5 years some 20 years back it's already come down to 4 5 months today right product life cycles are coming down because of the millennial consumer demanding things uh, marketing media is so cluttered you, you know with digital tv newspapers media is very very cluttered so today i think a products battle with its competitor is actually fought on the supermarket shelf which then puts a huge amount of importance to the packaging uh, packaging field i would say it makes uh, packaging the managers uh, and the brand managers associated with it are are will have an extreme amount of importance in organization because uh, as a as a if a product is to sell it has to you know get the eyeballs of the consumer who is walking by the aisle of the supermarket he should he should be able to come and take the product and have a look at it that's when there is a possibility of making a sale uh, which is what png actually calls as moment of truth right now going back to this i think packaging has become extremely extremely important uh, today for any battle to be won at the brand level so this ideations the cost of ideation from consumer is getting transferred to brands and there are innovative converters very innovative converters packaging converters who are in the forefront who are now changing the game from producing mass quantity at lowest price to providing solutions to the brands uh, you know whether it is a personalized uh, packaging solution or a customized packaging campaign that is being done or you know incorporating brand security element to solve a supply chain problem or to you know cater to instant demands of uh, you know speed to market of this brands i think there are the new age of converters the converters who are going to grow are also creating a lot of excitation the hp what we doing today is to try and bring this ecosystem right we've actually got you know perfect uh, you know if you hear this uh, people you know call this innovation we've actually built a team of experts in hp whose only job is to work with the brands right and these are not printing experts they are multidisciplinary experts there is a supply chain director of uh, of an alcohol beverage company who is working for us to test as a hp employee going to the brands trying to solve the problem of supply chain right? there's a brand manager who's working in our team uh, who again links up the brands to the converters uh, and you know helps in the projects right so our, our our biggest belief is we are trying to address the entire ecosystem ideation happens at every level uh, pratik and our job is to kind of be the 
aggregators or integrators of the ecosystem. Wonderful, Durai. So ideation and innovation is the way forward and no better technology than digital to capture today's consumer aspirations. So Durai, where do you see your next customer coming from? How's the digital roadmap uh, for HP in India? Is it kind of heading towards the tier two and tier three cities? Uh, possibly bringing the printer much closer to the new manufacturing hubs where all the brand owners are positioned? India is a land of opportunities, a big land of opportunities. Uh, Pratik, I would say we already operate in cities like Daman, Basai, Gauhati, Dehradun. Okay, this is in the packaging side alone. Okay? If you take our commercial business, we are already present in about 54 cities. Okay, 54 cities in India, which are tier 2, tier 3, or you call it, you know, rest of the tier cities, right? We've gone much beyond the typical metros where business has happened. I think for us uh, today, uh, what we're seeing uh, are two things uh, in the new world, in the, in the new normal. Uh, we see two big factors which are going to uh, change, the, change the landscape a little bit. One is there is, a, there is a, I would call a massive de-urbanization which is happening. Okay? Uh, someone told me that uh, almost one third of Chennai's population is applied for an e-pass to go out of Chennai, right? I mean, for me, it is both scary. It is very scary, right? I mean, there is a de-organization which is going to happen, which is going to put a lot of pressure on the way converters are working. I mean, I, I spoke to a converter in Bombay and he said, look, I, I have about 45% of my people who come from the northern part of the country, the, the people that were working for him, which is roughly about 40 people. And they've all gone back to their home places, hometowns. And the earliest time that he's expecting people to come back is after Diwali, right? I mean, this is scary. And they're not able to run presses, right? I mean, each of these conventional presses needs a lot of people to run it, right? From, you know, press operators to somebody who's storing the plates. And, you know, that's exactly where, you know, I think uh, digital is going to make a big, big difference. I mean, digital by, by itself, uh, is uh, it, it has a social distancing, right? You just need one person to operate and, you know, pre press operator could be sitting at his home and firing the job. There is no physical transaction or transmission which is happening, right? And with this one fact that one person operates the whole press, almost all our packaging customers were open throughout the lockdown and they were doing just unbelievable work. And the business actually grew by about 82% during the same time of the pandemic. Which is, which is, you know, if you actually see it from the other side, it's crazy, but it is the, it is the way of life. I think this factor of de-urbanization uh, is going to make a massive difference to the way uh, converters are operating. For us, uh, we definitely see demands coming from tier two, tier three cities. Uh, having said that, we would also be very, very happy to cater to customers in the metros as well. Well, yeah, India, as you correctly said, is a land of opportunities, but it's always good to see that global technology is uh, reaching to the grassroots uh, today. Uh, Dray, uh, there is a lot of buzzword on sustainability, and it's, it's a word that a lot of the brand owners are taking initiatives, the converters themselves are taking initiatives. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the sustainable, sustainability aspect? Has it gone to the back burner? Or do you still think it's predominantly a factor that people are still working on? And how do you see the digital packaging technology taking a lead in this sector? For me, uh, sustainability, I think it's, it's a way of life. And there is, uh, there is no going back there. Okay. Sustainability is definitely the way of life. Uh, the millennials demand sustainable products. Right? And you, you, you see the this teenage sensation greater the convert, right? I mean, the amount of uh, activism that's happening around sustainability with the younger generation is massive. And, you know, we borrow the uh, environment from our, from our children. It's not what we inherited, right? I mean, without a doubt, sustainability is going to be the way of life. For me, uh, when it comes to sustainability, what other technology can be better than digital packaging technology. By default, this is the most sustainable printing technology 
which ever existed. I'll give you simple reasons, right? If I use this word, prevention is better than and give a pause, everybody will say cure. And that is the basis on which digital packaging actually works. You basically produce what you need. You don't produce in excess. I think I've read surveys which says anywhere between 20 to 25% of the printed packaging material never reaches the consumer. In its lifetime, never reaches the consumer. Uh, either you know it's never put on a product or it is put on a product which never got sold out of the supermarket. So 25% is actually thrown to the dustbin as landfills and you know whatever recycling that we do. When you get into digital packaging as a technology, you actually produce what you need, which is basically you eliminate the 25% waste, which is for me prevention than cure. It's a huge 25% is a huge number. Number two, uh, when it comes to the whole technology itself, right? The conventional technologies which work on cylinders and plates, and uh, here it is, it is all digital. I mean, it's it's all in a pen drive. You know, as I told you, the previous operator doesn't need to be in the office. He fires the job from wherever he is, and you know, your packaging material uh, is, is is already on the on the press and it is running, right? Now I didn't change cylinders, which are massive. Uh, you know, I didn't produce cylinders. I didn't use chemicals to clean the cylinders. I didn't use water to wash up my press. So this this like a ton of other savings that come along when you run a digital press, right? Which for me is massive. It is just not about, you know, amount of plastic produced. That's not just sustainability, right? I think sustainability has to be looked at as a 360 degree angle, including depletion of water, usage of chemicals, uh, and, you know, prevention of waste, and also the time factor which is involved, plus the real estate factor of storing the cylinders and transporting the cylinders. There's nothing in this. Thing. So for me, digital printing by default is the most sustainable printing technology. And this would go a very, very, very long way with brands showing the, you know, their CO2 footprints and CO2 savings, which they are going to do. Uh, so, it's, so is it for the brands and also for the converters as well. Okay. Truly, uh, we can believe that uh, digital is sustainable then, Appa. So, just to kind of uh, sum up, uh, would you have any message uh, for the industry in uh, today's scenario? Yeah, so yeah, definitely I, I, I have uh, a few things that I would say to my friends in the converting side, friends in the brand side. First to the converters, I think all of you have to realize that the new normal uh, is going to be very, very different from the way you've been doing business. When obviously, you know, the factor around manpower uh, India, which used to be uh, the biggest advantage of India, which used to be cheap labor, cheap labor, it's not going to be cheap labor anymore. Because the cheap labor has probably gone back to, gone back to their home states, right? Which is which is reality, right? It's big reality. The logistics cost have shot up. In I, I was reading a report, 18% is the increase in this last five months on the on the logistics cost in India. Because you know. If you don't have the conventional way of transporting goods, transporting packaged materials. The packaging cost has also changed, right? Now, to add to this fire, which already exists, brands are going to demand smaller and smaller and smaller quantities, right? Every time a pandemic like this or a you know economic recession happens, we've seen this in 2008, the guys who were playing the game of price are the ones to vanish first. So about 20% of the printing industry died in America in 2008, 2009, right? Which actually is good in a way because you have the bad guys going out of the business, which then, you know, you see the good players in the market as converters. But the fact of life is it's going to change tremendously. Uh, it is not a question of uh, digital versus conventional. It is a question of digital unconventional. I think that's the biggest uh, thing that I would say for the converters. And for the brands, the consumers will buy what is absolutely needed. So should you. Plus, the fact that you've been saying all this while that digital is expensive, I think if people start looking at cost from an overall TCO perspective, it'll start making a huge amount of difference. Right? Things that we do around anti-counterfeiting, 
uh, you know, has given back 10% of revenue to the companies, which is like an additional 10 crore of business if you're a, you know, 100 crore company or something like that, right? So I think you have to look at cost in totality. Uh, but the underlying fact is your consumers will buy what they need, so should you. We're very, very happy to be of help, uh, you know, as I was uh, talking to Pratik before, we built the ecosystem, we built people from your line of business into our teams to kind of become the link between you and your converters today. We're extremely happy to help uh, with the information and you know, connections that we could make to already the existing 20 odd converters uh, that use our technology. And I think uh, digital uh, would make a big, big difference. Digital packaging would make a big difference to the way you've been driving your business and help you win the battle that you will fight in the supermarket shelf. Pratik. Thank you, Appa. Thank you so much for your time. It was a very engaging, enlightening, and I would say a digital experience for us. Uh, we wish you all the luck for the new digital milestones that you set out, uh, especially for India and Sri Lanka, uh, the markets that you kind of look after. Uh, till then, I wish you uh, all the luck, stay safe, and I hope to meet you soon, probably at an exhibition ground, walking the aisles with all the visitors that come through. And I hope that all your customers come and see the latest innovations from the HP platform. And uh, thank you, uh, Appa, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Pratik. I would love to, you know, give this warm big hug to my partners like you and my customers, which we all long for. I hope uh, the world becomes uh, a better place soon. Thank you, Pratik, for the opportunity again.